everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a fresh spring makeup look using a couple of purple colors uh, so first thing I'm going to show you is the products that I've used uh, prior to the main part of the video which is basically what uh, is on my face like primers concealers the BB cream and everything else um, as mentioned in every video everything will be listed down below So after priming my face and baking and putting everything that is needed just to save time, um, now I'm going to show you what is going to be done on this eye makeup look. First you want to get some kind of tape or scotch tape or any tape, in this case I'm using medical tape, and you want to use that, um, take out a small piece, put it on the back of your hand, uh, making sure that it's going to be less tacky so that way you don't tug your eyes. And then you want to line the tape from your bo bottom lash line up to the uh, ends of your uh, eyebrows. Then taking the Makeup Geek in collaboration with Manny, um, as you guys know, this is a very popular palette, and I for one just adore this palette. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take the middle color there. It's called Sora from the Makeup Geek Manny palette, and I'm gonna use that with a um, like a 217 brush or similar. I'm gonna put that color onto the crease. Then taking the color Foxy from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and a flat shader brush, you want to put that all over the lids, making sure that it stays put and blended out with a 217 brush with the same Sora color. Then taking the Precision's Formula Liquid Liner in Black, I'm going to use that to wing out my liner. Then taking any mascara of your choice, I'm using the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I'm going to put a couple of coats on my top lash line, or top lashes I should say. Then taking these uh, Kiss Lashes, I think these are called Shy, and my Revlon Precision um, Lash Glue. I did do it off camera just to save some time. And then you want to go ahead and put in the same Sora brown color onto the bottom lash line. Then taking a Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigment in the number 50K702 and a Morphe E35 and you want to spray that brush with any makeup setting spray and then pick up that pigment and put it in the inner corner of your eye. You can use any color of your choice to give that pop of color.
Then taking any bronzer contouring palette you'd like, I'm using the Maybelline uh, contour palette, just a contour color, and you want to go ahead and give yourself some bronzed skin, giving back life into your face. Then taking this NARS blush called Luster, it's a very nice peachy tone with gold flecks on it, very pretty on most medium uh, to dark skin tone. It would look even prettier if you were tan, but you want to go ahead and put that all over your cheeks and make sure you blend it all out using a dual fiber brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. Then taking my cream highlighter wipes out from Benefit, I'm going to put that on the top of my cheekbones and anywhere I'd like to highlight. Then following that is my Hourglass Ambient Palette. I'm going to go ahead and use all three of those colors and put it on top of the cheekbones and where else I place the cream highlighter. Then taking the Ultra Satin Lip from Colourpop, uh, the color is Cozy. It's a nice uh, corally orange red tone lip lacquer. Uh, it does come out satin. It's not like the matte ones. Um, this one does have some sheen to it if you do use it. Um, you want to go ahead and place that on your lip. You can use any lip color you prefer. And then make sure you use any concealer uh, that you have available and making sure that it's nicely cleaned, especially if you're using a bold lip like this one. Then go ahead and use any makeup setting spray that you'd prefer. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done so already. Do find me on Instagram and Twitter at Alta Meets Beauty. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!